going on guys? I hope you've been having a fantastic day. Now I am super excited because today we're we'll checking out Matt Riddle. Now you guys have been asking me to do this because he was actually in the UFC. I mean he was horribly underutilized there. And so it looks like now he's moving into the sport of professional wrestling. Now Matt Riddle was actually on the Ultimate Fighter so he's probably used to that sort of WWE environment, that sort of almost scripted environment and making a show out of things. Anyway guys, today we're reacting to his best wrestling moves and I hope you guys enjoy, you guys have asked for this and I'm giving it to you. Guys, this community is growing so fast and I want you to be a part of it. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe down below. Anyway, let's get into it. Yeah, so that's Matt Riddle. He was on, uh, I know he was on the Ultimate Fighter. Uh, he did a pretty good job on there. I think he went undefeated before getting kicked out for drugs or something like that. I don't really remember what happened. But anyway, let's see, let's see what he does in wrestling. I'm sure he's great, by the way. I mean, these guys are athletes, and athletes are usually good at coping in different sports. You know what I mean? Honorable mentions. Frog Splash. You guys said he was in WWE, but this doesn't look like WWE to me. Oh. Woo! <sighs> Springboard knee strike. Guys, that's... Look, Oh, that's like an actual wrestling move. For some reason, I assumed he'd do like, sort of, I don't know, like Brock Lesnar almost, and not do, you know, like high fly and high jump and stuff. Hey, but look at him. He's literally, you can see in this frame alone, he's literally on the rope, and he's jumping, and he's about to do, I don't know, flip of some sort. Anyway, let's keep looking. Ooh. Arm bar. So that's more of a MMA move, I think. Oh. Now that legitimately hurts. I mean, I've been putting one, I did a bit of MMA training. Not too much, but that legitimately hurts. Like, I've been in that before and it's not, it's not pretty. Oh! I love the way that flip looks. I mean, he put, gives it time. And I think that's one of the things that I've noticed more that, like, almost Rickshin does as well. He gives it, like, time so it looks almost like he's floating in the air. And, I mean, it is really beautiful to watch. Oh! It's like he like, waits till the last second to actually complete the flip. And I think that's, even from an untrained eye, I think that just looks beautiful. Corner flying forearm. Oh. He moves so nicely. Oh. Hit the ref! <laughs> WCPW. A bunch of different things, isn't it? Head kick. Oh. Woo! Ouch. Hey, he's an MMA fighter. I'm sure he's good at that. But what I think is so interesting is that he's able to go from something where you're trying to kick your opponent's head off to something where you're trying to help your opponent. You're trying to both do a good job. You're trying to both perform for the audience. And I think it's really interesting that he's able to go from one sport to one, I mean, it's still a sport, but it's obviously scripted. So I think that's just a really interesting thing that he's able to do. And I guess, I guess, I mean, athletes are athletes. And so I guess it makes sense that he can do that, but it's still very impressive. <laughs> Look at that, I love that. What a great move right there. Jumping senton. Oh! Ah, oh, I can't feel too good. On your stomach, all of his weight. I mean, how much is he, like 200, 250? Ah, it's kind of hard to tell. I don't know how big he is. Pele kick. Oh! I love the way twist to it as well before. Look at that. Oh. I mean, that's another thing. He's so agile, and I think that really shows, especially in this video, that he's able to, like, do stuff around the opponent's legs. I think a lot of uh, WWE fighters actually can't do because that's something you actually have to do in MMA like be able to duck and dodge have that really quick reaction times and that's something Ricochet can do that's something Matt Riddle obviously here can do and I think that's really powerful and that's really interesting that he's using that MMA skill to essentially translate to WWE skill triangle knee triangle knee oh I love when they bounce off the second rope not even the top rope like that it just looks so nice also why isn't he wearing shoes I swear they're supposed to wear shoes oh German suplex. German, oh! That's like a Brock Lesnar move. I, I've seen uh, a compilation of him, which I didn't actually upload because of copyright reasons, but still. Oh! Ouch. On your head as well. No, two at the same time. <laughs> I mean, you have to be strong to do that, right? I mean, I guess the opponent's jumping at the same time. I mean, is it? You guys tell me, if you guys are wrestlers, is the guy jumping? But at the same time, you still have to pick the guy's whole weight up and lift him behind you. It's not an easy thing to do. And someone like Matt Riddle, who is legitimately a fighter, who's legitimately insanely strong. I mean, not to say that WWE people aren't strong, but this guy's an athlete, you know what I mean? And he's able to pull off the moves because of how athletic he is. And that's, I think, translates to any sport. Roland Carolyn Kitt. Ooh, I don't like the look at this already. <laughs> His movement's so fluid. Oh, another one. It's amazing. I bet it's it's quite incredible. Like he never stops. I guess that's that MMA training going through. 
He does two at the same time. Look at that. Look how fast he moves. Uh oh. Ooh. Can't feel too good. Look at him. He's literally lifting it with the full force. And there's no way to fake that at all. Oh. Lift him up again. One more time. Over the head. I mean, it's. It really is a good move. It really is a good move. Because it shows how actually strong he is. You know what I mean? This isn't fake. This is him literally picking someone up. Oh. I can't feel too good. Yo. Oh. That's another one. Ouch. Small audience there. Look at that. Ah. Bicycle knee. Yeah, how small are some of these promotions? I mean, how many promotions are there? I thought there was. Before I started all this, I thought there was just WWE. Look how much. Look how many little ones there are. Oh, that's the one for the KSI video. Oh, yeah, that one. Fisherman Buster. Let's see this. Ah! Oh my, is there a spring in the ring? Because it looks like it almost bounces. Woo! Ah! Oh, that's... It's like... His transitions are so nice. Bro to sleep. The bro to sleep. What's that? Oh! Oh, knee to the face. That's, that can't feel good. <laughs> I love it, guys. He's so fluid as well. That's what I think makes him nice. That he isn't... He's not just doing a move, recovering, doing another move. He's moving around all the time, and he's kind of linking stuff together, which makes it look really nice. Oh, see, Ricochet and all the other great people do that as well. The, what's it called? The bro mission or something? I'm just guessing. Uh... Oh, that legitimately hurts. That legitimately hurts. I've been putting that. That legitimately hurts. That 100% like actually causes pain to your shoulder. My shoulder, my, my elbow is actually fractured right now, but my shoulder has had injuries too on that, where your elbow gets really twisted around. That actually really hurts. Like I'm like, no, no joke that, especially the way it was locked in there, that 100% was giving the guy pain. And that's so interesting that they don't even use a fake submissions in wrestling. They actually use real submissions that actually hurt, that actually do damage. Um, it's confusing why they would do that. I mean, I don't understand that. Guys, if you're a wrestler, do tell me. Do the submissions they put you in hurt, or do you guys do it like a some sneaky way that, I mean, it doesn't hurt, but from my perspective, from an MMA perspective, that is 100% legit. I mean, obviously it's scripted, but still, that is a real move that really does hurt. That's actually, oh, that's kind of awful, actually. Oh, what is this? Ah, that went to his head. I can't really tell. Oh, sort of onto his back. Still can't feel too good. Ouch. At this point, I'm almost scared to say ouch just because every move looked like it hurts. But at the same time, that does look painful. Well, guys, I actually really like that. I think that's really interesting that there's an MMA fighter that's able to transition that easily. I guess it makes sense because these guys are insanely athletic. I mean, this guy must have trained his entire life to be able to do what he does in the octagon. And so that same athleticism obviously will translate to WWE. But at the same time, it is a different skill. It is a different sport. It is a different discipline. And that transition is really impressive. And anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. And if you're already here, make sure to turn on that bell notification so you know when every video goes live. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.